Hi, my name is Nur Ashikin. I'm Farhan's friend. So, uh, today on 18 March 2020, I have decided to record and to document what really happened in Malaysia during the first day of uh, Malaysia restriction of movement. So, as we all know by now, uh, our Prime Minister Tan Sri Muhyiddin Yassin has uh, given out an instruction to close Malaysian border from 18 March until 31st March. So, following that statement, there are several events that occur. One of it is panic shopping. Malaysian are panically stocking up their groceries. Secondly, uh, people are panically going back into their hometown since they also get uh, a work from home order. And so, so apparently these people, they just thought of going back to their hometown. Uh, thirdly, uh, IPTA students, uh, the public university students are told uh, to go back to their hometown to empty the hostels. Uh, I'm not sure why uh, the instruction came out maybe to prevent uncontrollable uh, diseases spread uh, in the university hostel itself but after that the TBS uh, terminal bus uh, bersepadu Ceras uh, the bus station at Ceras is was crowded was crowded with I think over 40k people uh, and I think those people are uh, perhaps majority of them are our students uh, trying to buy their bus tickets uh, during the last minute. Uh, I have the opportunity to record uh, what happened to the stores in my area. So let's check it out. Uh, before that, I need you guys to excuse my poor video quality uh, because I'm just recording using a uh, normal phone and I'm not really experienced in uh, vlogging. I don't like vlogging using my phone by myself. Getting their breakfast and taking away the food. Uh, apparently, I'm in front of Pizza Hut, so uh, apparently, we cannot dine in. And for Pizza Hut, we can only order from the apps and we can only come for pickup. So, a lot of um, Restaurants uh, are doing the same thing, I mean, uh, the Seven East, KK Mart, uh, and all the uh, the, the convenience store, uh, most of them are open. Uh, so banks are still open as usual. Uh, what about Unify? Yeah, Unify, Unify is still open. Uh, clinics, clinics are open. Currently, I'm at the tea garden. Uh, we cannot eat here. We can only tapau. So yeah. Um, restaurant are not closed, but you can only uh, take away. What about Mama? Uh, so as you all know, Malaysia is famous with Mama, like 24 hour service, cheap uh, food, 24-7 uh, Wi-Fi. And look at it right now, there's no one there. I am currently at Family Mart. Uh, right now it's uh, almost lunch hour, 11 plus. Mana uh, setakat hari ni? Uh, first day kita movement restriction, ramai tak pelanggan dekat Family Mart? Tak ramai, tapi itulah. Orang beli pun macam panic buying. Dekat, panic buying. Uh, orang beli secara banyak. Hmm. Cuma, macam kita orang pun non-stop dia punya order. Order. Uh, hmm. Dah banyak kedai tutup kan. Hmm. Kita orang memang okay. non-stop. So Family Mart 24 jam eh? Okay, so uh, daripada malam tadi ataupun hmm. yang malam orang beli tadi, order tu? Malam tadi tak ada. Ah, malam tadi pun still okay. Oh, malam tadi. After 12 eh? After 12, After 12, okay. After 12, Oh, so macam hak pagi ni macam mana pagi ni? Sebab pagi ni dah macam orang kata dah official like movement restriction. So masih ada lagi tak orang datang ke Family Mart? Daripada pagi ada sale tak? Ada. Macam biasalah, macam normal eh? Okay, so despite of the movement restriction, people are still coming. So, boleh saya tanya, yang datang tu kebanyakannya macam orang muda macam saya atau parents yang ada bawa anak-anak atau macam mana? Mesti orang muda. Mesti orang muda lah. Oh, sebab kita tak masak. <laughs> so, kiranya kalau Family Mart ni, bisnes dia tak terjejas. Uh, and it's still open like usual lah. Open for business. Okay, terima kasih. Hi, so right now I'm at the uh, Dobby. Uh, Self Laundromat uh, at Kelampatan area Johor. So apparently it is uh, closed uh, due to the movement restriction. They are closing uh, the Self Laundromat um, from 18 to 31st March. 
2020. So yeah, as you can see, there is no one here at the self uh, Longro Mart. So I'm not right now at a convenience store. So as you can see, it is still open. It's still uh, the business. Semenjak pengumuman lockdown tu, ada tak macam orang semua memborong membeli dekat kedai abang? Okay. Memang, memang ada lah. Pada sejak hari Isnin, uh, dah, di, dah ada rumors uh -huh. yang akan, akan PM akan uh, buat pengumuman lockdown. Uh -huh. Memang hari Isnin saya dah diserang. Dah diserang eh? Hmm. Habis. Saya Habis? Dah. Saya punya rak banyak habis ha. Jadi hari ni pun saya dapat Restock boleh Wah Contoh-contoh yang habis tu Item-item yang habis tu Contohnya apa bang? Rasa untuk beras Okey beras Wah saya tengok Ada 50 kampit Biasanya tak boleh habis Dalam seminggu ha. Ini dalam 2-3 hari habis Wah Saya Wah, beras. baru Contact dengan Pak Iza Dia orang kata esok baru boleh Apply Okey Macam Bawang Bawang-bawang Saya pun habis Bawang-bawang Teluk oi. Ah minyak saya habis tapi alhamdulillah semalam baru sampai. Oh minyak okey. Minyak paket minyak ah. botol semua. Minyak botol. Oh yang itu pun diserang jugaklah. Ah, serang gula tepung ah. Tepung. Gula tepung. Hmm. Wow. Macam ni baru saya restock ni semalam oh. ni memang tak nampak apa. Susu sejat ya Allah. Wah, wow. maksudnya kena lockdown pun semua orang nak makan sedap juga lah Susu tetap kena ada Macam ni, kopi-kopi Milo ni pun macam main coklat Saya ni semua last stock ni Last, last stock dah tak ada dah eh Haa, saya tak bila lagi sampai ni Wah, supplier pun ha, mungkin tengah bertukar rumah sah Saya punya ayam Wah, kosong, ayam kosong Ya kosong. Allah, peti kosong Rasa boleh muat 50 ekor 50 ekor ni satu, kosong Satu section 50 ekor ha. Tapi ni dah satu section dah tak ada langsung Dah habis Semua orang dah borong Dia punya fries nugget Fries ha. nugget ha. It's, it's, a, it's a sudden attack Kiranya Walaupun man. tengah bulan tapi diorang terpaksa untuk dapatkan stok hmm. uh, Sebelum bekalan habis Betul Tapi insya Allah saya akan usahakan Usahakan Dapatkan stok hmm -hmm. Sebaik mungkin Untuk okay. orang dekat Taman Nusantara Wah Sama Sebab saya ingat dia orang attack mall-mall je. Ha. Ah, kedai runcit pun. Saya dah tanya sahabat-sahabat saya kat kawasan Pasir Budang, BBU, semua kedai-kedai yang ada buat BMF ke kedai runcit memang tumbuh. Settle. Ha, settle. Kena ha, serang. Saya nak ambil stok daripada dia orang pun dia kata dia orang tak cukup stok. Ya Allah. Ha. Tapi itulah bang. Okey, sekarang ni ini dah hari pertama lockdown. Okey, setelah abang diserang sejak hari Isnin ada tak yang masih lagi orang kata panic shopping lah orang kata sampai masih hari ni? Ke? Saya tak pernah-pernah hari ni saya buka baru separuh shutter orang dah start masuk. Wah, hari ni pun ada juga? Betul. betul. Ya Allah. Sebab, okay. uh, semalam berita baru mengatakan dua uh, uh, yang dijangkiti COVID dah meninggal. Wah, oh, dua kematian lah. So, semua dah, dah fokus yang lockdown sebenarnya akan berlaku. Oh, maksudnya memang betul uh, kena perintah kurung lah lepas ni? Orang dah expect akan perintah kurung. Oh sebab tu lah makin panic shopping tu tak tak habis-habis lah Tapi let's say lah bang, kalau total lockdown lah bang Kedai runcit ni masih akan buka tau tak? Saya tetap akan buka dan saya akan menjaga-jaga uh -huh. Dan saya akan pastikan siapa-siapa yang ada kisah sintem Saya minta orang elak untuk datang lah uh, Tapi yelah macam mana abang nak tahu sintem sintem tu kadang-kadang Kita boleh tengok hmm. sebab sekarang pun kita dah tahu sintem dia macam batuk uh. Uh, Dan nampak orang tu Mampu oh. saya tak ada orang lain yang boleh berjangkit lah Yelah betul lah Macam kedai abang buka daripada pukul apa sampai berapa Biasanya lah normal hours lah yang sebelum ya, pengumuman tetap boleh buka pukul 10 hingga pukul 10 Oh Walaupun lockdown pun abang tetap yang sama lah Tapi Atau yang abang, abang yang diserang hari Senin tu pukul berapa abang tutup hari tu Oh itu saya memang terpaksa tutup sebab dah tak ada barang Oh habis Pukul 10 saya dah kena tutup Wow Wow. Pukul 10 saya tak pernah tutup on time Wah. Biasanya dah akan track Paling awal pun setengah jam Haa ah, betul Wah. Tapi hari Isnai memang beras Itulah beras Kalau cari barang tak ada saya pun tak seronok Yelah betul lah Wah. Wow. Okey terima kasih banyak bang What uh, he told me earlier uh, People are still not stop uh, panic shopping after the announcement that there has been like two deaths uh, due to coronavirus uh, people are forecasting that there will be like a total lockdown uh, perintah berkurung we, whereby people cannot go out even from their house um, yeah so 
the panic shopping is still going on. It's not gonna stop until I don't know until the government make another statement, I guess. that some business are still going on some business uh, cannot go on um, but the most important part is uh, there are mart that are still open and available for us to buy our groceries so there's no need for us to stock it up um, and supplies are going to be increased uh, so no worries uh, no need for panic shopping just now at 8 p.m our prime minister again uh, highlighted and emphasized on the need for us to stay at home stay at we are do not uh, roam around unnecessarily in order to curb the disease from spreading we never know if we are the agent of the virus so let's just stay put at where we are i hope all of us can brace uh, this period give our utmost cooperation so that we can end it asap we want our routine life back we want our job back we want our salary back uh, we want our school back we want our lectures back so if you want all of them back uh, please 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 give our utmost cooperation stay at home okay i believe we can do it all of us can do it let's unite and yeah stay at home